Okay, so let's discuss lobar anatomy on CT. Uh, let me show you what I have in front of me here. I have uh, basically a chest CT. This is in lung windows. I have your axial images. These are coronal reformats and these are sagittal reformats. These are about one millimeter in slice thickness. And let's go ahead and start discussing the different lobes of the lung. Start with the right lung here. Uh, by the way, this is a click. This is a uh, localizing function. If I click here, you can see it localized across uh, the different planes. So let me start with the uh, right lung here. You can see here the right lung apex, the left lung apex. You can see the right lung base and the left lung base. And when I start scrolling down here, basically the majority of what you're seeing here is going to be right upper lobe. As I keep scrolling down, you're going to see this dense line here. This is the coaptation of two pleural surfaces, and that's the right major fissure. And you can see that very nicely here on the sagittal image. If I come over here on the sagittal, you can see very nicely this radiodense line here. That's the right major fissure, and you can also see this a little bit more faint. That's the right minor fissure. So back on the axils, this is my right upper lobe. This is right lower lobe. And as I come down, you can see more and more of the right lower lobe coming into the right lung base. So let's go back up and see if we can find the right uh, the minor fissure. The minor fissure on the axial images, you can see this is it right here. It basically is only present on the axial images for a few images. You can see it here, and then it's going away. And the reason for that is you can look here on the sagittal and look at the orientation of the minor fissure. It's basically in the same axis as the slice plane on the axials, so it's kind of hard to slice that accurately. So it's just something to be aware of. Sometimes looking at the right middle lobe, it's easier to localize the disease on the sagittal images. Okay, so that covers the right lung. Let's move back up and we'll do the left lung. So as I'm coming down here, you can see the left upper lobe. You can see that here in the coronals above this, which is the left major fissure. So I keep coming down here on the axials. Now you see this radio dense line here, which is the coaptation of two pleural surfaces, and that is the left major fissure, shown very nicely here on the sagittal, as this line here. And as I keep coming down, now you're going to see less and less of the left upper lobe and more and more of the left lower lobe. Keep scrolling down. And at this point, I just want to point out that this is going to be the lingular segment, as it's very, it's adjacent to the heart and it's still in the left upper lobe because it's anterior to the uh, major fissure here. And I'll get into that more specifically in the bronchopulmonary segmental anatomy. And as I keep scrolling down more and more, you're going to see more and more left lower lobe until you see the left lung base. And now I see the diaphragm. Again, I'll show you that on the sagittal here very nicely. So now we're coming in laterally. Now we're going medially. We can see the major fissure. So that's pretty much the left upper lobe. Just a couple of tips when you're interpreting images. Uh, basically, uh, you want to, if you have any question of where you are on the axial images, use a localizer function to click, and then use the sagittal to kind of decide, are you above the major fissure, or where are you in relation to the fissure? And then you can identify which lobe you're uh, present in. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please watch the next video in the, in the segment, which is on bronchopulmonary segments. And I appreciate your time. Thank you.